What's up YouTube? Welcome back. My name's Tony. This just arrived in the mail today. This is Golden Age Project's Unite Rack Mounting System. It's designed to rack up two of their single rack space, half rack width units, such as their Pre-73, EQ-73, or Comp-54. Now a nice touch in Golden Age Project's design of these units is that they're all encased within the same chassis. So it doesn't matter which two of those units you want to combine into one rack space, this rack mounting kit can accommodate them all. So the kit comes with four pieces, your rack mounting shelf, two brackets to attach to the side of your two units, and then it appears that this is just a space filler between the two units. It also comes with all the screws you need, but of course the units to rack into here are not included with this kit. So the reason I decided to make this video though was because I noticed that this kit didn't come with any instructions on how to put it together. So I figured I'd make this video to show you guys how to put it together so you don't have to figure it out for yourselves. Anyways guys, before we get right into this video, please take a moment to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell. That helps the channel out a lot and it helps me to be able to make more great content for you guys. Also, if you'd like to support the channel a little bit further, there's a link down in the comments that you can follow to buy me a coffee. So I'm going to be racking up two of these guys, the Golden Age Project EQ73. Okay, so here's what we're dealing with here. I've got one of my two units. Now the rack mounting system also comes with these two brackets, one for the inside of each of your units. So if this unit was going to be on this side, one of these brackets would go over here. The other one, of course, would go over here for the other unit. And then this weird skinny piece here goes right in between to fill in the gap. So the only tool you'll actually need for this is a small Phillips head screwdriver. Although I'd also recommend having a tray to put your screws in. And as I always recommend, a pair of reading glasses it is basically just a couple of magnifying glasses you can put on your face. So I'm going to flip this unit up on its side here so I can more easily get to those screw holes. And you'll notice that the uh, mounting bracket for the inside there, you'll notice that it's got quite a long area for the screws to go through. That's how you can move this bracket back and forth on the unit before tightening it down to the unit so that you can make it align with the holes on the shelf system a little more easily. So if you screw those in loosely, you can actually move this back and forth as you need to. And actually it looks as if the uh, side of this unit as well has the same feature. So you can properly adjust your unit within the rack mounting system before tightening all the screws down. Now another thing that I've just noticed about all these screws is two different types of screws. One has a rounded head and one has a flat head. I would imagine that the flat headed ones are to screw from the bottom of this unit up into the unit to secure it from there so that it doesn't interfere with, um, with you trying to slide this unit in and out of the rack. The round headed ones, however, would be for the sides because you've got some space in between this unit and the next unit. You've also got some space on the outside because of the uh, rack ears. So I've now screwed my EQ into the side here. I've left it loose so we can still move this around. And I've got the bracket on the inside here, also loose so that we can move it around as we need. And next what we'll do, take a look at the front. Just make it flush with the rack ears. Okay, so that's about how flush I want it there. So now I'm going to very carefully screw or tighten these side screws. And then we can line up the screw holes here. Okay. Now we're going to flip this unit over. Now before you do, make note of which screw holes you're going to be screwing into on the side here. We've got one up front. We're going to be screwing into the second one down on the front side and one, two, the third one in on the back side. Be careful flipping it over as the unit is only attached on one side and you don't want to put too much stress on the one side of the rack mounting hardware. So, get one of our flat screws. You don't need to over tighten it, you just need to tighten it so that it's nice and snug. There we go. Now we're going to do the same process for the other side of this unit. So I've got my second EQ73 here. Let's do it again. Now 
Now we're gonna flip this back over. Be sure to support the side of the unit that you're working on because again, it's only secured on the one side and you don't wanna to put too much strain on that by having this hang down in a way. So I've just come across one snag. It's nice that we're able to move the bracket back and forth on these units to make sure they fit properly. But once the second unit's in, how are we supposed to line that up and then tighten it? I'm gonna have to pull this back out. So now that I've gotten this side tightened down, the inside bracket is still not tightened down. And I won't be able to do that without taking this unit back off again. So I'm gonna have to unscrew this side. We've got this lined up the way we want it, so I'm gonna have to lift this whole unit out and try to tighten those screws on the inside. And hopefully not readjust what we've just lined up. That's tricky. Okay, now let's see if that'll actually line back up. I put it in there. Hopefully that'll work. So now that I've got that, we can put these outside screws back in. And we can flip this over again, being careful of the inside of this unit as it's still not secured. Hopefully, yep, we're still not quite as lined up as I'd like to be, but we're still somewhat lined up. All right, let me take a look at the front of this thing now. Yeah, it's looking good. All right, so the last piece we have is this little space filler. This is gonna go in between these two units and kind of fill in the gap, to make it look more like one cohesive unit. That's a pretty tight fit though. shifted this over a little bit just so that this end is hanging down a little bit to kind of bend that open slightly and that helped that to uh, that helped this piece to fall in now let's see if we can get it lined up all right now the last step here would be just to go through and re-tighten all the screws that you put in. Just make sure they're as tight as they need to be because now that everything's lined up, we don't need things moving around on us. All right, here it is. Two EQ73s racked up in a Unite system. That went pretty smoothly and it seems to be quite a solid fit. Adjusting the bracket in that second unit that I put in was a bit of a hassle though. I don't know if that's just something you have to deal with when you're racking up two half-sized units. I can't really see a way that they could design this system around that either. So that might just be one of those things that you have to deal with. Other than that, I found it quite odd that they would put the uh, round-headed screws and the flat-headed screws in the same bag. I mean, I was partway through actually putting this thing together before I even noticed that there was different screws. Um, and lastly, I think it would have been decent of them to include some instructions on how to do it. Would have been like a one-page pamphlet, pretty easy to slip into the box there. But they didn't, so that's why I'm here. Well, thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you guys liked what you saw and would like to see more content like this, please hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell. And if you'd like to support the channel even further, there's a link down in the description that you can follow to buy me a coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.